Hello everyone, this is Michael from Corion. Uh, in today's session, I'd like to give, give you a little introduction into the Corion application, into its main UI components and how they help you to efficiently interact with Corion repositories. And there may be, I think, uh, certainly some useful goodies in that you may not see at first sight. So I'd like to show them to you. Um, so let's uh, go to the browser that I have already open here. Uh, so this is the typical look and feel when you logged on into a Corian repository. Um, so what can we see here? Just a little introduction into the uh, separate components that we see here. Um, so we are here on a on a database on a repository that deals a bit with uh, terminology and concepts from digital photography, digital imaging, etc. What we see here is here in the main view on the left here on the main component we are positioned on one concept that deals with uh, thing like additive color mixing. Um, and what we see here in particular, obviously, uh, are the different terms or the information, uh, language information that is associated with that concept, additive color mixing. So we see a term, we see the synonyms in English here, uh, RGB color system. We see German terms, additive Farbmischung, additives Farbmodell, and the French ones, Modell RGB, etc. Um, and uh, this already brings me to a pretty important point here is that in Corion uh, we will not see uh, that what you usually know is a synonym field in other terminology applications, but uh, by its concept-based uh, approach uh, a term and all its other terms in the same language are automatically kind of interpreted like synonyms because they belong to the same thing. Um, currently, we only see the terms here, additive color mixing, but we can have a look at its details uh, by expanding uh, the information that is associated with that term um, by clicking that button here, show hide properties of this term, and when I click on it, I get additional information that the data maintainer associated with that term can collapse it again, can also do this for other terms, or can do this for all of the terms that we see here by basically expanding everything and then scrolling up, scrolling down, quite a long uh, in-depth information about all the, ter all the terms that are associated with that uh, concept. Um, this additional information in Corion we call a property uh, because it describes the properties, uh, the characteristics of a term or also here on top of a concept, uh, for instance, additional information that is kind of language neutral but applies to the concept. Um, so this is a bit the terminological information uh, uh, that is associated with a, a concept. Um, this concept here, additive color mixing, um, has broader narrower relations. We can expand them and see them. Um, so for instance, I can see here that additive color mixing uh, is a more specific concept, a narrower concept to concept called color model. And on these things here, I can click on. And when I click on color model, I'm immediately positioned on that uh, concept that uh, is uh, describing the fact color model. I can scroll, uh, go navigate up here, like a bit like in a tree or a bit in a, like with, with kind of breadcrumb paths, uh, navigating up and down in my, uh, in my structure here. For instance, here I'm on now quite on top already on digital image. And here I have the different children concepts on more narrow, uh, more specific concepts associated with digital image. So for instance, I click on file format and then I go down here into the file formats. And here we have then the specific file formats. And this way we uh, kind of crawl up and crawl down uh, the path uh, in this database. So for instance, here under raw, I have another, uh, uh, concept uh, describing the DNG format, uh, the Adobe Digital Negative. Um, this I picked here uh, to uh, introduce you a bit to these navigation button, to these buttons here. Um, so what can they give to you? If you click that button here is, you can display and uh, expand all the system information. So basically the things uh, that Corian recorded in the background while editing records. So for instance, what we can see here is basically that this record has been created uh, 
in September 2016, um, who changed it last time, etc. Um, even more, when I click that button here, I can uh, display a complete history track, a complete uh, history record and log uh, of what happened to this concept. So when it had been created, who edited, what were the changes, for instance, I changed the term, I updated the term from digital negative to Adobe digital negative uh, uh, a couple of hours ago here in this record. So, so far a bit about the very specific information um, and uh, going up and going down uh, a bit the concept parts. So all this information, and you may have I've observed this already, we can render in a so-called concept map. So to not only display the concept where we are positioned on and its direct uh, parent and uh, children concepts, but also display the neighborhood. So I can expand uh, this graph here and click uh, on the concept here and use this as a navigation means. Even more, when I'm highly interested in understanding the structural map, I can bring this, and this is a pretty important button here, by clicking the maximize button, I can bring this into the main view and have a very a specific view onto the whole tree structure of uh, my, my system here. Um, depending how much information and how much screen size you have available, you can zoom in and zoom out into the map. Um, if you have a mouse wheel, uh, then you can also use the mouse wheel to zoom in, zoom out. Um, you know this from Google Maps, probably that works pretty uh, similarly. Some maps, some uh, trees are structured rather deep, some are structured rather flat. So this uh, map currently I'm uh, kind of showing in a top-down mode, but I can also switch this view and kind of rearrange the whole uh, structural information uh, from left to right and then navigate the information a bit more like in a, a list-like view um, and display the different uh, concepts here that we see in the map. Uh, from, uh, uh, from left to right with regards to their deepness and from top down uh, arranging the sibling concepts. Um, so, so far a bit about the concept map, um, now a bit about uh, the languages. You may have noticed that here is a language selector. We were currently navigating the whole system in English and with the secondary language German. Um, so I may switch this for instance to French and then display everything with a strong focus on French because now I selected French as my first or preferred language for browsing and the notes here are now labeled with, if available, with a French term. So espace couleur, intensité de couleur, etc, etc. Switching back to English again. Um, and the selection, you may have seen the change, has a particular impact on to what we see here in this control. This is the term list. So this is basically an alphabetic listing, an alphabetic index of all the terms uh, that we have in this database, uh, starting uh, from A to Z uh, that we have in English here. So. Uh, so here I basically scroll up and down like in a dictionary from A to Z and uh, navigate the terms and obviously can also click on them here. Um, so this is uh, the term list. Uh, another maybe useful hint how to navigate Corian repositories is, and you may have seen this already from time to time here in the map, sometimes this little pin icon pops up and when I click on that one here um, I may pin a given concept into the clipboard. That's that little uh, widget here. Clipboard is basically like bookmarks or like just links um, to concepts that you know you might like to return to in a couple minutes. So kind of uh, not forgetting them. Uh, so image editing maybe I'm interested in. So let's click on that. Then I also have image editing here in, in the clipboard or uh, here also from within the term list. Um, so for instance, what am I having here? So for instance, a term called buffer I might uh, also put this uh, into the clipboard. And then uh, I'm here in the clipboard, I can click on them and directly navigate, for instance, to image editing uh, via the clipboard. can also remove them again here via the little uh, cross mark. So, so far about the navigation in Corian. Um, now uh, a little advanced uh, thing with regards to how to uh, navigate with Corian data and with Corian repositories. Um, 
As you can see here, I'm positioned on a concept, and this concept has a unique identifier. So it is a basically a unique link uh, uh, into a given Corian record. Um, and obviously, uh, for these things, I can these kind of links I can send around or can send to someone. I can also bookmark them. For instance, here in the in my browser, I have a bookmark to a, a concept in a completely different repository in Corian, namely the Eurook repository. And when I click on that one, I'm changing the repository and I'm immediately ending up exactly on that uh, uh, record that uh, was in my bookmark, namely here in the Eurovoc repository, uh, um, a concept that describes the regions of France. So this is a highly multilingual repository, by the way, in some 20 languages uh, or the official EU languages. Um, now finally, to uh, end this little session today, um, let's do some little search uh, in Corion. Obviously, what we can do here is we can sort of search for things, and this is basically the search field here. So let's search for something funny uh, or a bit more interesting. Let's search for champagne, for instance. Um, and uh, when I'm searching for champagne, I found uh, two records, uh, namely champagne uh, filed underneath wine and one champagne. Panier or then Champagne or then filed underneath regions of France. Um, we also see them here in the map. Let me maximize the map again a bit. So once we found a record uh, underneath uh, a structural tree uh, uh, that starts with geography, and then obviously once the thing, namely the the, uh, the bubbling wine, uh, which is filed under uh, wine and uh, beverages, etc. So here I only found two records. This is pretty okay. I can quickly browse through them. But imagine pretty large repositories. Um, and then you basically want to narrow down your search to not search the whole repository of 10,000s of records. But for instance, let's say we would like to work in the context of beverage only. So I'm positioning myself here onto beverage. And when then searching, I would like to instruct Corian search to only search under underneath beverage and its subtrees. For this, there's this little uh, helper icon, this little button. Uh, this namely activates a branch filter. So when I click on that, and you've seen this here now, um, that at this point in time, um, we kind of hide all the other nodes that are not underneath beverage. So they are visible here, but kind of grayed out. And also the content of the term list here, still in English, is reduced to only and all these terms that are underneath beverage. So all the other terms that are part of the rest of the repository, and there can be 10,000s of them, are no longer displayed here in the term list. And obviously when I now uh, start a little search for champagne, let me do this again, we only get the hit uh, from that selected branch. Obviously can deactivate the branch again and then start like before. So here with I'd like to end uh, today's session. This was a little introduction to the Corian uh, UI um, and uh, its UI components. So I hope that you've learned today a bit how these different UI components play together, how to navigate multilingual concept maps, also how it works that we can link from other applications into Corian repositories and uh, the very advanced uh, uh, feature how to work with uh, concept branches. Um, so I hope this intro was quite useful to you. Um, you're of, of course welcome to contact us, to follow us on these different well, these different channels. Um, you can reach me directly via mail under michael.corion.com. Follow me or our uh, company on Twitter. Uh, feel free to have a look at our blog, uh, which is the Multilingual Knowledge blog or subscribe and you're very welcome to the subscribe to our say bi-monthly newsletter uh, which you find the link on the www.corian.com uh, slash news. Thank you for your attention and uh, hope that you are joining us soon for other tutorials.